Alright, hello everybody, welcome to episode 7 of the Spongebob Squarepants movie video game. Unfortunately, in this episode, I am kind of pissed off. Um, I think, yeah, I have 27 tokens. Technically, you still need 3 more, I believe, to unlock Spongebob's final ability. But here, we are able to get the throw ability, because you only need 25. Uh, but I combed through the tokens, and good lord, for a casual playthrough, I kind of pray for you, man. Um, okay, so uh, let's just quickly go over what I had to do. Um, first things first, um, you see how I didn't do all of no weenie parking anytime? That's because I couldn't bring myself to do it, because good lord. I, I listen, I, I think I said before, as a kid, I hated ring challenges. I thought they were fucking impossible, the, the hardest thing in the world to do. That may have been true for Sandwich Driving 101 and rub a dub slip slide in a tub, but holy fuck, dude. The gap from this, uh, the ring challenge, I don't even think the Macho Time Challenge is that hard. I despise the no weenie parking ring. Listen, the amount of times that I got towards the end and just, <sighs> this took maybe like six attempts before I was like, you know what, I have better things to do. I can just do other, there's far better challenges to do than this. Avoid any anything, like I say do the time challenge for this and the time challenge for Rock Slide, even though the time challenge for Rock Slide is five minutes in and of itself. Like, uh, it's still, it's still better, and there's at least checkpoints in the time challenge. There are no checkpoints. Once you fail, you have to do it all over again. I despise it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a bad mood because of this. All these ones, you, they're, they're, like, three of these are locked behind late game abilities. Um, yeah, so, um, like I said, should you have to do any challenges, I'd say go back and do maybe one of the combat arenas that are a lot easier. Uh, I'll probably save this one for later. They take forever, but at least you'll get them done in one try. Um, like I said, do the sponge balls and the falling, uh, floating blocks. Those are way shorter, way more fun, better challenge. And for God's sakes, if you're going to do any of these, do all of these. The the sandwich and, and um, uh, other ones. We can't do up Chocolate Creek just yet, I don't think. If anything, go back and do all the throw missions, because there's like two or three of them, I think. Or at least there's like some combat, some pads and stuff you'll find. You see there's still question marks spread throughout, it's because some of these, you'll, they're just areas you can't access yet. But in this situation, um, yeah. So, overlapping text boxes, I, if I remember, yeah. Are. Patrick, you have enough tokens, for fuck's sakes. This one's gonna give us one more for 28. There's probably gonna be one more pad around here for something. Um, and I'll be able to just do one of the combat arenas, or, or no, actually, no, you'll have just enough. If you follow the route I did, you'll have a much more pleasant experience. Um, here you just press R to throw these things and auto locks onto anything. These safes, um, in order to get broken, they, they house a lot of goodies inside. They can get bro get broken by explosives, or you can just toss them off the edge. You get that glorious 50 weights. And this is... I would recommend breaking all these crates just because, uh... Okay, talking to Mindy broke it. But yeah, I recommend breaking all these crates just because they uh, provide you with a lot of, uh... Exp uh experience points, I guess. Uh, manliness points. Here we unlock a new enemy. Horrific. Hate this enemy. Yeah, it shoots you back. You literally have to throw something at it to to get it to do anything. I believe it also deflects your your um your bowling thing. So there's only like a handful of ways to kill it. Or no, you can throw the bowling, I think. SpongeBob's just kind of here, just cause. But th that's why you don't play a SpongeBob in this area. He isn't too much of a threat if you aren't close to him, but he's really fucking annoying otherwise, because it takes several hits to throw at early on. You do more damage with the upgraded throw ability, obviously, and that's what I'm aiming for in this episode. Um, but yeah. There's gonna be a lot of these throw puzzles. You just gotta toss things. If you play Battle for Bikini Bottom, once again, you'll be very familiar with things like this. Um, the throw fruit does have a lifespan. Uh, it's a fruit after all, it'll go bad after a while. This is at least satisfying. <laughs> yeah, these are some weird old people. I don't know why. They're just like, I guess, Bikini Bottomites. Not Bikini Bottomites, but just... People. They're just normal, but I guess because it's towards the city. This is like, city people. Which I kind of like the aesthetic because you can see like the, the... The license plate and spotlights and stuff are, are like, um... 
like big city billboards, but it's like super rundown because this is people throwing trash into to the ocean. I like it. I, li I actually really like this, the level's music and aesthetic as well. Hold on, I'm gonna have to solve some puzzles here. I can't remember, what, do I just cross over or do I have to hit the TV? Is that what it is? Yeah, okay. It's not visible, you're supposed to hit the TV. The, the hand is like just barely out of frame. Thank God that came into the back of my head. I was like, oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, the TV breaks. Yeah. It's been a while since I played the game, but at least I can remember kind of what I'm supposed to do. Asshole enemy. Yeah, for Patrick, you gotta you gotta whip these things at him. Oh, that doesn't even do that much damage either. It's a bitch and a half. Gotta die, dickhead. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and re-harness some of the energy I had in the earlier recordings, uh, just because it, that really, when I say that really put me in such a shit mood, I was like, damn. I forgot how horrifically irritating that was. Because realistically, last time I played this game, I, it left a good taste in my mouth, I'm gonna be honest. Like, the final boss was pretty neat, because I totally forgot about doing everything else. Damn, like, that sucks. That's really bad. <laughs> Like, the jank I just kind of grew up with, that I could adjust to nice and easy, but even still, like, I for- the t patty wagon controls like ass and the camera is bad. Those are, like, that's- that's two things I can at least excuse, the rest of the game is fine. It's just if cameras really don't do it for you, then yeah. Unfortunately, that's just not it. And then, like, obviously the driving segments, they're driving segments, but holy fuck, going for a 100% completion? That, like, unbelievably pisses me off. I, I hate that. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, there's a there's a challenge here too. Sick. Okay, that's actually nice. I think realistically, all you need is is 30. Everything else is optional because, uh, like, you can get enough for for just one more health point, and that's just upgrade wise too. So like, the rest is just up to you, since you only need 30 tokens are required for this uh, next ability. I think. I don't know if there's any more uh, walls afterwards. If there is, I'm not gonna spoil it. Yeah, sick camera, I love that. I just hate how it's reversed. <laughs> it's like, you may see me like jittering it like one direction and then turning it all the way the other. It's because it's like inverted and I can never adjust to that. All right. That's probably most of my gripes. Like you'll get used to it, but it's just so unorthodox compared to the rest of every other video game in existence. I'm- now I'm confused. Alright. That's a weird platforming section. I mean, these sinking platforms aren't, aren't too bad, you can just literally keep double jumping on them and they'll, they'll stay perfectly normal height. And just like that. We are done. Nice and easy. Good. <clears throat> okay. It, don't worry, the game. This was just a, a dip in the in the quality of the game. Playing topless. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, but playing topless uh, and the few levels in between. I am much more like I much rather those ones. Those are much more enjoyable. This mid game. Uh, I kind of hate because like. This mid game is where you're still unlocking all the abilities, and these enemies, well, they're, yeah, doable. I forgot Patrick has a cartwheel. <laughs> but, um, while, while it's doable, it, I uh, don't recommend it. It's like, it's not that I don't recommend it, it's the fact that it's like, it's just really hard. It's like, it's just not, or not hard, it's just unenjoyable when you don't have, um, nice things. Like, having max upgrades are far more sought after. Oh, you asshole. How am I supposed to kill this prick? Why is th why is he on the throw fruit? I can't get to him. Yeah, okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna figure this out. Like, I can throw it at him from here, and that'll kill him. But there's no way in hell that's how you're supposed to do it. I refuse to believe that, because that requires the upgrade.
and that those are only limited in supply, you know? That's great. That's exactly where I wanted to throw that. Okay, I'm gonna quickly run to this thing because I can just kill it without repercussions. Get rid of this so it gets out of the way. Luckily, the throw fruit responds, so I don't know. I, I just do it the way I did, I guess. That's the only. That's the most logical way I can figure it out. Like, I guess the upgrade is semi necessary here. Um, as shit as that sounds, you know. Whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> um, there's a button here. Charge throw that. This is slippery, apparently. You have walked on the screen. Okay, hopefully that's the end of this nonsense. At least for now. Uh, this destroys the throw fruit. That's the only thing I hate about throw fruit. Okay. <laughs> At least he died somehow. Like. Okay, I'm gonna get the crab head and fuck that shit. I'm not risking anything. Why are you reading my movements? What was that? Okay. Oh, I need it again. Uh, is it actually required? Or can I just toss it at this? Am I able to? Okay, I can throw it up here at least. The manliness has landed. Uh, okay. okay, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm really trying. I'm like, I. I could be easily, infinitely more upset at this game right now. And because it is gonna, I know it's gonna get better. That's 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 mostly what's keeping me going right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's sick. Target. God knows what you were targeting. You fucking asshole! Get away from me! This enemy sucks, dude. Who designed this thing? I can't do anything. I have to wait for it to go back to its fucking pussy-ass hiding hole. Holy shit. Just throw it at him, man. Get him the fuck out of here. Great. Because that just makes things so much nicer. No, don't throw it at the fucking charge. Good. It only does more damage if you charge, that's why I'm so keen on charging. <sighs> okay, you know what? I can just go there, right? It's probably quicker. Here we have another Spongeball challenge. Okay, so... At least for good news, yeah. You, you, honestly, I might have done too much. Actually, I'd say just do one of the floating block challenges and the sponge ball, and that's it. You don't need too many timer challenges. Like I said, it's probably best if you just 100% at least one of the racing levels. Do the timer challenge for whichever ones you're most comfortable with, and then spend the rest of your time doing floating block and sponge ball challenges. Because these, at least for me, I genuinely find these ones fun uh, to do off camera. At least. They're, I don't know, they're, they're nice, they're super brief, it's just a good short challenge, you know? Um, okay. I just throw this on here, I guess. Pick it up and throw it out a button. Or no, I just throw it on here, I guess. Why are there three? Oh, am I supposed to stack them? Because that is something you can do. You can stack the fruit on, on top of each other, should you need to. Uh, yeah, two is just enough. Again, okay. Again, these guys require the uh, ass smash. What's the body slam now? But, um. Oh, you asshole. I hate how. Oh, this I'm dead. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, I hate how you have to, um. What was it? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Not charge. This, this one's gonna break. It's like. It in time. And when it's about to break, 
Uh, it starts dimming. Um, yeah. Ass smash these guys. Face body slam. Whatever you want to call it. There's another upgrade. We'll do Patrick's health really quickly. And, um... Yeah, of course it doesn't heal. Yeah, I, I don't remember what I was going to say. Lame. So, okay. This makes no sense. He's just there. There has to... What am I missing? What am I missing? There's something I'm missing. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do some research. Okay, um... It's, this still requires a, a macho ability, but it is at least better. Because I knew there was a way you could stun enemies. Um, but, um... That it still requires a macho ability, but you know what? I guess machos are gonna be required. I genuinely thought you could beat this game without doing any any macho upgrades, but it seems like... I mean, theoretically, it's possible. I don't know if you want to do it to yourself, but uh, theoretically, it's possible. So, yeah. Uh, Patrick's sh shockwave... Um, okay. Patrick's shockwave move... Um, thing. I'm just tapping it, man. <laughs> Patrick's uh, shockwave body slam does stun enemies, and you can that's how you pick them up and throw them. It's a little bit weird, but, um, you know... It gets the job done, I guess. Uh, it's still lame that that essentially means that uh, it's necessary for. Um, okay. To, to defeat these stupid bastards, but. Uh, whatever. At least, you know what? I'm not even gonna give you the time of day. Okay, cool. So I'll set over there. Whoa, you survived the hit and I have a macho upgrade too? That's gross. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we have SpongeBob here now. Um, and here's another Sonic Wave Guitar thing for a Wave Guitar challenge, uh, which we don't have just yet, but you know, it's, it's here. Stop it. Just keep it out of view of the camera. Yeah. Throw that over there. Throw that over here. Go quickly, but don't break it. And just barely. I don't I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. At this, at this point in time, anything goes, I guess. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a concrete way to, to do anything. In this fuck ass game. <laughs> it just does whatever it wants it to. Sure. Oh, wow, actually dressing us, that's a neat voice line. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sitting back a little bit. <sighs> you need to get all my my grumpy grouchiness <laughs> within view. Can I? J okay. Can I jump on the thing? I can. Cool. Did it just go nowhere? I don't get it. Where is it? It's stuck there. Why would you target it then? Okay, go. There you go. Oh, the vacuum tubes. All right, give me that checkpoint. I don't want to enter there just yet because I do believe there is a way around here. Is it normal? There's a lot of like hidden things. Uh, I think I'm missing something. Can I go in the TV? No, it's just, it's just death. Uh, whatever. I'll f I don't know if I figured it out in the other save file. Yeah, we're pretty long on time. I'm cutting out a lot of this. I I, I hope at least this 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 is a very chopped up episode. But um, this is another area. Um, 
And you know what? I don't think... Okay, good. A task. Perfect. Remember this for next time I play. Uh... Okay, well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned how shit-ass the middle part of the game is. Please don't, you know, I, I guess don't think of it as too, I don't know, too bad of a game. This middle half is just miserable. I'm just not in a very good mood because I already had to do something pretty ass. It probably doesn't seem that bad as, as it truly can be. I'm just, I just was such in a bad mood already after having to grind out. When it turns out, I really don't. Maybe don't do what I had to do because you really don't have to grind that hard. Um, but uh, yeah, some of these later sections, like I said, shockwave. You're, go I guess you're forced to do at least one macho upgrade throughout the game. You know, even if you're like a casual, I, you're just gonna have to learn to use the upgrades for sure. Which you know, you know what? I guess I guess it's sensible enough to expect. Yeah. Usually upgrades, you know, are supposed to be quality of life, right? That way you never forcefully have to grind out, but I don't think you're ever actually gonna have to grind out, really. Like, it, it's plentiful. It's not the end of the world, you know, I, I'm, I'm making such a big deal out of it. It's not the end of the world. I guess just focus, if the only upgrade that actually seems necessary is both, um, not the throw. The throw's not technically necessary, but, um, you are gonna wanna upgrade the, the smash. The ass smash. <laughs> uh, yeah. Afterwards, we're the last upgrade in the game is the Sonic Wave guitar, which has been spoiled several times over, um, and it's just tantalizingly close to us. Uh, also, with the throw ability, you unlock a lot more tokens, which is what I'm saying is it's pretty much just get the 25 because you can max out the rest of your tokens just by doing the th a few throw challenges and the sponge ball, the sponge bowl. Sp no, it is sponge ball and the floating block challenges. Otherwise, you're set for the rest of the game. And once you get out of these uh, stupid trenches areas, you get to get to the more fun parts such as Shell City and some of the final boss fights. Which um, I'm hoping I'm not just misremembering as being a lot better. But in my mind, this was fairly recent the last time I played these uh, final areas, which would have been, I think, 2019. It's the last time I played this game fully through. And you know what? I had a good time. I had a good time, especially with uh, towards, the, towards the end of the game. I guess because I already had done all the bullshit I've already gotten past of it and you know what some of it is genuinely a challenge like I said like those later sponge ball challenges and um, floating blocks those aren't very hard at all and um, it they feel like very fair when I whereas the combat arenas the sliding ones except for maybe uh, or like the, the the on rails style like the car driving car driving feels terrible the sliding ones I say those ones are better if you're gonna go for anything it just sucks that the only other sliding level before the end of the game spoiler alert because I said there is one more um, is very very long and I, I wouldn't recommend doing the ring challenge or the macho time challenge those aren't enjoyable at least going through it once for you know for the sake of it for the first time is fine and then going back again for the time challenge those are the only two I'd recommend for at least a casual playthrough. 100% playthrough, you gotta do all this shit. Anyways, goodbye, I'm rambling.